Hello. So here's the question. Have you ever heard anybody use the phrase, well, if the Lord is willing, then this or that. If the Lord is willing, then we'll do this. If the Lord is willing, then we'll do that. What does this mean? What's it about? Why do people use this? And I'm going to help you out with that. So God instructs us to consider the Lord's will when we make plans, that we don't make plans on our own and not consider what God desires us to do with our lives and to include us in those things, to work out our plans in accordance with what his will is, what his desire is. But a lot of times when people use this, um, it, we use it as an excuse for not doing something. Say, well, if something doesn't happen, then it must not have been the Lord's will. And so we're relinquished from all pressure of making any kind of commitments because we leave it up to the will of the Lord. And a lot of times we'll use that with uh, simple things that we don't want to do. Our flesh does not want to do. Jesus said that the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. That's what's fighting against the will of God. And so people will use that and they'll say things like, well, God willing, I'll be, I'll read my Bible tomorrow or God willing, I'll be in church this Sunday. God willing, I'll be at Bible study. Let me help you. It is always the will of God for you to take his word and read it and study it and place it in your heart. It is always the will of God for you to take this word and not just be a hearer of the word, but to be a doer also of the word. It is always the will of God for you to be in church, to hear the preaching of the word, to be saved by the preaching of the word, for God to speak to you, to correct you, to direct you, for you to be there, to be encouraged in fellowship, to encourage somebody else in fellowship, to pray with other believers, exhort one another as you see the day approaching. It is always the will of God for you to be in the house of God. It is always the will of God for you to be studying your Bible in fellowship, to continue daily in one accord in prayers and following in the apostles doctrine. It's always the will of God. The problem is when we don't align ourselves or our own will with the will of God, it is always the will of God for you to be there, to be studying the word of God, to be in Bible study, to be in church. But is it your will? And that's where the problem comes into play. Have you aligned your will to be in the house of God with God's will for you to be in the house of God? Have you aligned your will to study his word with his will for you to study his word? Have you aligned your will for what you are going to do with your life with God's will for what he desires you to do with your life.